A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukha Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in truth and sincerity. Shalom also to the few Aqua to us and Sally seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Sharala from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying. I'm going to read from the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 23, which quotes Buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. So, as you can see, it's really literal. It means what it says buy the truth and sell it not people might be wondering how do you buy the truth so let's go and check out the root word of buy which the root word of buy is um kana let's listen to what it is what it says strong's h 7069 kana kana so as you can hear, it means kana, and it actually means what it says, you know, to buy, to get, to purchase, possess, or to possess, owner, recover, redeem, to get, to acquire, recreate, buy, possess, to get, to acquire, to obtain, okay? Now, before going on, I'd like to get from the book of um, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, the 38th chapter and verse 24. Which quotes. It says the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And he that hath little business shall become wise. Now let's let's get an understanding of the word leisure. Oop. I think I need to get it. Leisure meaning. Leisure meaning. So it tells you leisure time when one is not working or occupied. Free time. People with too much enforced leisure okay it means time when one is not working or occupied it means free time so let's say leisure is time now it says the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure and he that had little business shall become wise now this is the point when you when you apply for a job okay in this kingdom and once you're offered a job, you get a contract maybe for two months or a year or six months, okay? The person offering the job is actually buying something from you and that's your time. And what you sell in order to get this money is your time, your leisure, you know? So you sell your time to acquire riches. You sell your time to acquire money. You sell your time to acquire your dreams or whatever, your career, your ambitions. You know, if you want to become a doctor or whatever, what you have to sell is your time, which means time is the most precious thing that can be found. Now, let's go back to the book of, oops, excuse me. Now, let's go back to the book of Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23 says, buy the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding so how do you buy the truth you buy the truth with time just like we read from the book of ecclesiasticus also known as sirach chapter 38 verse um verse 24 it says the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure and he that hath little business shall become wise so in order to acquire this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, okay, which is going to lead you to eternal life, you need to buy it. And how do you buy it? You buy it with your time. You give your everything into it, you know, 
you create time for this truth you know yeah it's normal that in this kingdom you we need to walk we are under captivity we need to walk you know in order to put some food on our table but you know it shouldn't be more than that man because people go after different things you know they go after things that are that that overshadows you know that covers you know this major plan the most important thing which is this truth you know now let's keep reading it says how can he get wisdom that hold it the plough and you know what the plough is used for for tilling the ground you know it says how can he get wisdom that hold it the plough and that glory it in the god that drive it oxen and is occupied in their labor and whose talk is all of bullock so those who are actually you know always working always you know always all about their money all about my business and stuff like this how can they acquire this knowledge they cannot because most of these people like myself here have some colleagues you know whom i used to work with before because now we're no longer working because you know in order for you to work you need to get this um you know what you know so when you know you have people men who they don't have any other discussion all they talk about is job work work and work they have nothing else in their brain man if you take away that work from them if you take away the discussion of a job they have nothing else to discuss about you know and that's very very you know that's something really crazy man and he keeps saying he give it his mind to make furrows and is in his diligence to give the kind fodder you know they are all about their job so every carpenter and workmaster that laborate night and day and day that cuts and grave seals are diligent to make great variety and give themselves to comfort counterfeit imagery and watch to finish a work the smith also sitting by the anvil and considering the iron work the vapor of the fire wasted his flesh and he fight it with the heat of the furnace the noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he make it he set it its mind to finish his work and watch it and watch it to polish it perfect perfectly okay so it's just giving you some inner insights of how these people do you know there are many people all their hearts is all about becoming you know a superstar a rapper a musician so what they do is they put their heart on that thing you know i used to be a music producer and an artist so i know what it means you know sitting in the studio all day you know making different beats trying to write different songs trying to get different sounds listen so your mind is actually concentrated on all these things you know and these things really they are all vain vanity you know they are all vanity and vexation of the mind they are not going to save you from the day of wrath they're not going to save you on the day of judgment they're not going to save you on in, on any anything wise the only thing they can get you is maybe money and riches you know in which this money and riches over here is counterfeit you know it's 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 worth nothing you know what shall it what shall it um what, what is the profit of a man if he gains the world and loses his soul it makes no sense now let's read it says so that the potter sitting at his work and turning the wheel about with his feet who is always carefully set at his work and make it all his work by number he fashioned the clay with his arm and bow it down his strength before his feet he applied himself to lead it over he is diligent to make clean the, the furnace all this trust to their hands and everyone is wise in his work now the apostles and the, 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 the apostles that actually brought this truth starting from apostle elder apostle um taha you know then following up to the rest of the apostles you know these men they dedicated time in order to gain this knowledge that they have today and this knowledge you can see it has gotten to all parts of the world you know giving people hope you know and this is the hope that we have a savior yahweh shai that is coming that we are the chosen people of israel you know even if we are in in the low in the low of of the society we have hope and this hope is more precious than gold is more precious than anything you can you can imagine in this in this in this kingdom right here you know so these men they actually dedicated time 
time. Time, you know. They dedicated time in order to acquire this knowledge. In which, in order for you to also acquire this knowledge, you need to dedicate time. And you need to give all your heart into it. You see, this scripture is actually speaking about other people that are working. You know, the porter, you know, in order for him to make his pot, he's watching carefully. The smith, a bit is iron. You know, we, we once saw a lesson um, when the smith, um, when they make gold, the smith needs to carefully watch, you know, always be there, always present. If not, the fire overburns the, the gold and it gets destroyed. You know, so they are all carried away in these works of their hands. And this is exactly what's happening in this kingdom right now. You know, it's all about the money. It's all about my business. It's all about my, my success. It's all about my career, you know, in which these things are not going to save you in a time of trouble. Now, let's keep reading. You say all this trust through their hands and everyone is wise in his work. Yes. They all believe they are wise in their work, you know. You know, everyone wants to be the next Elon Musk, Musk, you know. Everyone wants to be the next Jeff Bezos, you know. These people, they believe in their hand works. But these hand works, let's see how far it's going to get them. Let's see when the chariots, you know, come down and start dropping lasers. Let's see, let's see when the monster is going to make Russia start dropping bombs on the US. Let's see how their money and everything is going to save them. Well... Many of these um, these people in the higher echelon in the, in the society, they're going to be saved, okay? But what comes next? Slavery. They're going to be the first, the first people to be employed, you know, by the sons of Israel. They're going to be, their first job is going to be that of, you know, picking up the dead, dead people on the streets. That's regarding to the book of um, Ezekiel, is it chapter 38, if I'm not mistaken, you know? So let's keep reading. It say, without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit I in the congregation. They shall not sit in the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of judgment. They cannot declare judge justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken. Can because the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahusha is actually preparing us to become the judges of the kingdom, you know. So if you put your mind into these things of the judges, of becoming a judge of the next kingdom, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahusha is going to open your eyes, grant you wisdom, knowledge and understanding that is more precious than anything you can, you can desire, you know. And that's where that's that's where that's the circle of people you're going to find yourself around. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahusha William, we are part of that number. You know the 144 you know led by um by by, by king king david under yahweh shai then followed by the 12 you know he says but they will maintain the state of the world and all their desires and then the work of their craft can these people all their desires are actually in the works of their craft you know they buy these things that cannot save them in which you need to buy this truth as the book of proverbs 23 23 says so now you can see that in order to buy the truth it is time okay it is time wisdom cometh by leisure of time you know and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding you know so how do you sell this truth many people get this truth but when esau comes with a bag you know with the judas bag they sell the truth they, they they drop the truth and they get they collect the bag you know and it comes in different forms some people once they start facing different difficulties you know different hardship they are quick to throw out the truth out of the window and go back to their to their to their vomit like a dog you know and go back to their to their worst beginning even worse than before you know this is the hypocrisy of the people now let's go back because I want to read from the next chapter. I'll just read a few verses. You know, this is the book of um, Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, chapter 39. I'll read from verse 1, quotes, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies, you know, just like we do. You know, this, this, this truth is actually food for our souls. 
is actually food for our spirits. And this is what makes the difference because the people in the world, they, 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 actually, they actually sell their time, you know, in order to get, to get food for the body. But we, we actually sell our time to get food for the spirit, for the soul. Because that's what it's immortal. The body is mortal. The body, the body dies, you know, and gets corrupt. You know, it becomes dust and goes back to where it, it, it comes from. But that, that spirit in you goes back to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai. And trust me, you don't want to find yourself in the front of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai feeling guilty as hell, you know? So he say, if we keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. Because these scriptures, this truth is actually written in, they are all written in code, man. There are lots of dark parables, you know, things that you really, you really need time to study from, from, from the elders, from the teachers, from the apostles, you know, study to understand, put down, bring, pick up a book and jot things down. And this is how you grow in this truth, man. This is how you grow in this truth. And the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai, when the time comes, it gives you that wisdom. Sophia, okay, she comes to you. She is the most prettiest of anything you can you can imagine, you can you can seek for in this in this kingdom, in this life, you know. So he says in verse 3, he will seek out the secret of grave sentences and conversant in dark parables which is this the truth of the scriptures which is not given to everybody he shall serve among great men and appear before princes he will travel through the strange countries for he hath tried the good and the evil among men and this is just this is just you know the the final the final project of the most high to make us judges we are going to travel and rule over kingdoms we are going to travel and rule over countries, man. We are going to appear before before Yahweh Shahai. We are going to, oh man, this is this is something you know everyone should be craving for. This is the work. This is this is this is what we do, man. This is the work, you know. We we we, we sell our time for this truth, you know. And what we acquire, we acquire very few money because we need to work do some few jobs, you know, in order to, to put some food on our table. But that's not all we are all about. We can't really wait to get back home and pick up our scriptures, or watch some the elders, the apostles, some brothers' videos, you know, to get edified. It's all about edifying the spirit. It's all about building the spirit. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai that made him and will pray before the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplications for his sins. You know, like we always say, like the most especially, I believe, um, the elder apostle Gaba, he always make, make mention that, you know, we don't know, we are not sure of the sins that we've committed in our past life. You know, that's why we really need to pray for the sins, you know, because in our past life, we might have committed, you know, grave sins, you know, really grievous sins. So we should be praying not only for our, our sins of this life, also for the sins that were committed in our past life. You know, take for example, King King Solomon, you know, the sins that he committed in his past life, man. And that really got me thinking a lot. Who knows what we've done in our past life, you know? So this is part of it, you know, this job is all what we do for in order to, to gain mercy. Mercy is what we actually pray for. This job is a job of mercy, man. So now let's go back. I read it one more time. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 23. It says, Buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Okay? You buy these truths and you don't sell it like the, the sold out men, like, like many of these um, Hebrew Israelite camps, you know, they had this truth, but what did they do? They sold it for bags, you know? They started teaching bugged out, um, um, bugged out, um, um, doctrines you know crazy doctrines you know saying that um waiting for yahweh shai is a waste of time you know saying that 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 that, that john the baptist was was not in the truth you know these men they sold they sold the truth man they sold it out they collected the bag like judas iscariot you know so now let's get other scriptures this is the book of matthew chapter 6 verse 21 which quotes for 
where your treasure is, there, there will your heart be also. You know? Where your treasure is, there your heart will be. If, if, your, if your mind is set, you know, to becoming, you know, the biggest rapper, to be the next Jeff Bezos, whatever, you know, that's where your heart is actually going to be. Your mind, your power, your energy, everything is going to be concentrated in making that happen, you know? And all these things cannot save you in the day of trouble. But if your heart is actually concentrated in the kingdom to come, if your heart is concentrated in knowing this truth, you know, and you're sincere about it, you know, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai would open your eyes, man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a living testimony about this, you know. I remember when, when I would, I would kneel down and cry and beg the Lord, you know, show me there is a truth issue. You need to tell me, please help me, teach me the truth, you know. All of a sudden, I got a dream, you know. Then going on the internet, that was the first time I came across the, the GMS, you know, the Elder Manata Zach Bad doing a lesson, you know, actually telling. You know, t telling, doing a lesson on the dream I had, man. That was really beautiful. So, you know, where you set your heart, that's where, where you set, um, where your treasure is, that's where your heart is also going to be. So, if you set your heart in knowing this truth, in truth and sincerity, if you set your heart in the kingdom to come, then Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is merciful. He's going to forgive you for your sins and he's going to, he's going to bless you with this truth, man, in which this truth is comfort, man. This truth is comfort, though we're catching hell, you know, but this truth, in, in some kind of way, really, it is comfort, you know, because this is the hope that you have, you know, there is hope. Now, this is the book of um, Colossians, chapter 3, verse 2. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 2, it says, Set your affections on things above not on things on the earth if you're setting your uh, your, your 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 affections on on how to how to mine the bitcoin how to how to get so much money how to how to excel in this or that you know these are things below well all these things are coming into destruction very soon so it makes much sense you know um setting your affections on things that are above that is the kingdom, you know, that's where you have the book of, um, is it Hebrew 11 coming in? Faith is the hope of things not seen. Just paraphrasing, you know. And what does people do, you know, whatever you do that's just on the earth, you know, you are actually doing all to gratify your flesh. And your flesh is going to die and leave, you have to leave every damn thing behind, you know. But you need to do these things to your soul, to your soul, your soul does not die, it goes back to the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, this is the book of Psalm 37 and 16, the book of Psalm chapter 37 verse 16 quotes, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai upholdeth the righteous. You know, the arms of the wicked will be broken. We want, we really want to be hope, hope held by the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in those days of trouble, man. It says the little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked, man. This kingdom is wicked. Everyone goes after wickedness. You know, the riches that they all acquire is all wicked, man. They are not going to save you in the day of trouble. This is the book of Proverbs. And this is going to be the last one. I have more precepts, but I don't want to make the lesson too long. The lesson I did yesterday was woo, too long. So, this is the book of um, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 10. It says, Receive my instructions and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold this instruction is more precious than anything you can think of now the paper money in this kingdom is just fiat currency it's worth nothing in fact when inflation that super inflation hits in man that hyper inflation you then you you can just take your your your, your dollar bills and you can use them to hit yourself 
it's going to be more more easier than than to use the money to hit yourself than to get wood just like what's going on in in venezuela it says in verse 11 it says for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desire are not to be compared to it you know wisdom is better than rubies you know all the things that are to be desired are not compared to it now let's talk about what's going on today you know because you can see Esau is really moving fast he has no time which he knows he has no time you can see the cop um 26 the cop 26 that they're all talking about they're letting you know that there is no much time and these devils are really going to be coming really hard on you you know they'll be showing the real horns and the red the redness of their skin they're going to be showing it very soon that they are the devils you know they're going to be putting you in straits you know in positions in which you have a decision to make either to bow to the image in which that image is going to take you to the to the to the MOTB you know and that image you know what it is you know it's what they're pushing to you to 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 conform with you know the 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 injection you know the pesticide they're injecting in you you know so that's going to push you to get in the the, the next step which is the MOTB which is right at the door man in Nigeria they already started using the 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 digital digital monetary system you know so this is the time you need to make your choice you know they're going to push you you know push you and many many people are going to give up man they are going to give up because they are setting their hearts on the things on earth but those who trust in the most high yahweh shem Shai, who are setting their hearts on things above that is the kingdom to come they are going to be covered by the most high yahweh shem Shai, you know Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kudash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. Shalom.